Welcome guys, welcome back into the channel. I don't know what happened, why it cut off. We was up to this one. Anyways, I think the tree branch knocked it off. This one died Mar uh, May the 23rd, 1831 on that one. Then we have a footstone. Then we have a grounder that we can't even begin to read right here. All right. Then that takes us to here. And this is a decent looking stone right here. The tops fell off of it. But look at that design right there. Ain't that cool? Anyways, this is Mary J. Loved wife of Frank Evans. Died October the 22nd, 1878 at the age of 42 years. Frank Evans died December the 17th, 1888. At 52 years, 7 months, and 2 days. Let's see who else is on there. Then it says, what? Claude W., the son of C, or uh, G, or it's either a C or G, and A. Hoyt, died February the 16th, 1878, at the age of 1 year, 8 months, and 10 days. Then we have, oh man, we got a few back here and I can't see them. I can't see what it says back here, guys. So I'm going to hold it up high for a second. And then I'm going to drop it down and let you see it down here. It's the best I can do on this one. All right, there it is. And there's even somebody over here. Wow. You can't see these at all, the way the glare is. I can't see them at all. There's that. I'm going to come on down. Sorry about holding it, trying to hold it still, guys. It don't work out too well for me. Then we come down to here. That's why I'm trying to get members so I can get some money raised up to buy a, a gimbal that's motorized so it'll hold my camera still. Because I, I try my best, but it just don't do it. I, even with two hands, I can't hold it still, guys. And I do try. But here we go. We got Free Love. She's the wife of, of A. Benson. She died December the 9th, 1865, at 84 years, 11 months, and 8 days. I've never heard of the name Free Love. Then we have El Benzer, the son of J. and P. Benson. Benton died October the 6th, 1837, at the age of... I don't know if that says 90 years, 20 years, 20 years, 10 months, and six days. I'm trying to fight the tree. I can't move that branch. It's too big. Then we have, uh, we can get through it here. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it Elijah or uh, Benjamin or something like that? I'm not sure what the name is. I can't really get into good enough to see. Anyways, it's. Uh, November the 25th, 18, I want to say 66 years at, at 85 years, two months, and one day. Best I can tell. Uh, trying to work around this tree, guys, so if I mess up, I do apologize. Then we have Prudence. She's the wife of uh, Benton, Benson or whatever. Died March the 17th, 1834, at 50 years, 11 months, and 13 days. That's all that's on that stone right there, guys. All right. Whew, glad to be out of the trees. Next we have... Uh, I'm not sure what the name is. It's the son of Geo Young. Died September the 17th. And it says 1811. You be the judge of it. I don't know. Then we have Mercy. She's the wife of Asa Patient. Patience or something like that. Died November the 27th. It says 18, I think 28. But you be the judge on that one too. Because they are hard to see. Then leaning up against it is this one. And it's Charles. 
And he died, it looks like, in 1840, best I can tell. All right. Then we have another missing. Right here. And I believe it's that, that one right there. But then we have a broken rod hit one right here. And you can't see nothing on none of them. This is the only one you can see anything on. And they died in, oh man, down in the dirt. See if we can raise it up. But don't mash my foot. Eighteen fifteen is what it says. So you be the judge of that one. All right, we're gonna leave it right there. Here's our next one. It's Lydia. She's the daughter of A and L patient. And it says she died October the 12th, 1817, at one year, eight months, and 16 days. Then we have Mariah. She's the wife of Freeman Hackett. Died on March the 13th, I want to say 1849 on her. At 16, either 16 or 46 years, 11 months, and 23 days. You be the judge on that one. Then we have this little one. And I can't tell anything of it. The writing's too small. There it is. And here's our next one. Nice looking stone. It's going to be Bessie. William. Williams. Walter Hoyt. Died January the 17th, 1882. She was 65 years, one month, and 12 days. Then you have Martha, the daughter of the Hoyts. Died September the 11th, 1836. One year, one month, and five, uh, 15 days. Then you have Caroline. She's the wife of Walter Hoyt. Died September the 14th, 1838. At, three, at 36 years, at 11 days. Oh, there's more back here. I always watch for snakes when I'm getting in the weeds. Then you have Walter Hoyt. Uh, died, uh, I'm not really sure. I can't really see it that good. It looks like 1862 or 82, but I wouldn't swear to it. Maybe June the 15th. You be the judge on that one. All right. I got sweat in my eyes already. I can't see. So I'm afraid I'll say something that ain't right. This one died in 1838. It's going to be, uh, Charlie. He died September, uh... Maybe the 14th, 1838. Then we have Martha. I'm not sure on the second name, Hoyt. Died September the 11th, 1836 on this one. Then we have, I don't know on this. There it is. All right. Let me get a little sweat out of my eyes, guys. Shame that tree's on that one and I can't move it. I wish I could, but see how it twisted and broke? You ain't going to be able to move it because of the way it broke off. But anyways, let's move on. Then we have this one. And I'm not sure the name. Lois, Lois did. No, I am. Lois. Anyways, Lois died May the 15th, 1858. Or 30, no, 38. 38. That looks like a 3 instead of a 5. There it is, guys. All right. And here's our next one. And they don't look like they got any in the bushes. I thought they did, but this is the last row. I'm assuming they're buried down towards the cemetery. That's what I'm going to take it as. But we're going to check this stone out. If I can get into it for this bush. Alright, here we go. This is in the way, whatever that is. If you don't mind, mind, I need you out of the way so I can see better. Alright. I'm not sure on the name. But they died August the 12th. 1831 at 
61 years and six months. That's a beautiful stone right there. That one there is awesome. And they are a veteran, I think. Yeah. The War of 1812. All right, there you go. The War of 1812. Then I seen... I seen these stones right here. That one there. And this footstone right here. See it under there? I bet I don't see any more. So the best I can assume is they go with this stone right here we done red. Best I can tell. I don't think anybody's buried back through there. In fact, I think the cemetery ends right there at that post, which is about, well, that'd be 10, about 10 feet. Ooh. They might be buried in the bushes. I'm not sure. I don't remember reading the Hattie. See the fence post? Okay, here's the fence post, guys. Right here's the stone. Right there to there. It's about eight to 10 feet. I think the cemetery goes to that big tree, basically. Right there. And that's about 12 feet away from this, the cemetery. But anyways, I could ramble on all day, but that's all of this one, guys. That's the whole cemetery down through here. This one we happen to run across on our way. Uh, yeah, we appreciate you watching. Uh, I did leave a thing about the membership. If everybody gets a chance, jump over to the community page and read it, please. I'd appreciate it. Trying to get some support to help fund these trips that are going out like this. And if you can afford it, that'd be great. But if you can, I understand. But I may end up having to, I don't know, cut back down on the, the video in it as far as posting and stuff like that. I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. I'm gonna, It's all in the, up in the air. But I got to move stuff to membership. So we'll see how it goes, guys. I don't know. But I appreciate you watching. Please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. While you're in there, please, you know, watch the video. Jump down there and hit that like button. Then all you gotta do is scoot over just a hair and hit that share button. Then uh, before you get out of the, uh, leave, leave a comment. If you like the video, leave a like. And leave me a comment saying, hey, I like the video. Or if you hated the video, say, hey, that's the worst video I ever watched. Either way, just, if you could leave some kind of comment, I'd appreciate it. Everybody have a great day. And we're moving on to the next one. Peace, I'm out of here.